it's not possible. <laughs> that that is planned for for it, it, it is planned for for planned for uh, Grasshopper two to be able to use variables in all expressions everywhere that can communicate together. So that's but but currently no, that's not that's not possible. And neither here you you, you can if if you have a slider somewhere that has a, a name say n then you cannot use n here as a variable yet. That's currently not possible. This will fail. It'll, it'll tell you that there's n is not, not a recognized notation symbol. So no dice. Uh, there are. L let me just walk through this, this 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 sort of language a little bit more because there are quite a few options. And let me hide that horrible. Uh, where is it? Display palette widgets. Here we go. Okay. You can use question marks to identify any single number. You can use hard-coded numbers to identify specific numbers, or you can use the sort of common notation to say, well, it's this number, or this number, or this number. Right? Oh, it's nine it's too high. Eight. So it's zero or three or eight. You can also say, please select anything from 0 to 4, which selects all the numbers in between 0 and 4. So that's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, there is a short, or you can say 2 to 4 in this case. It's, uh, it's fine. It's, it's 2, 3, and 4. There are also notations like, say, anything more than 3, which selects 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way down to infinity. So all of, all of these notations are allowed as as, uh, as, as, as commands. Uh, and you can even string these things together. You can say, well, please select everything between from 1 to, to 8, so that this will skip the first column. But do not select, don't select anything between or say uh, five. This is this is getting quite complicated quite fast. But what it, what this means is, everything from one to eight. So that's uh, anything from one to eight. But do not allow five. So we will not allow the number five in there. Uh, the important thing here is that you can use the the, the words and and or to combine different rules. And you can use exclamation marks to invert a rule. So for example, to make it somewhat simpler, I can say, please select everything except 7. And now it selects everything except this column here. Or indeed, we can say, please select everything except this sequence, right? We can go in, and now instead of having the first and the third and the fifth, we'll actually select the, the second and the fourth and a sixth. And this is, in fact, the same as saying 1, 3, dot, 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 if you omit the, the expression mark here. So there's lots of different ways to actually define these paths. You have ranges, 0 to 4, or 0 to 5. You have everything but those ranges, not 0 to 5. You have sets, so you can say, well, please, 0, 4, 5, and 43. You can select everything except this set. You have sequences. You have the smaller than, larger than, and smaller than equals as well. And ultimately, you can even combine these rules together using or or and keywords. So very, very powerful stuff. And it works not just on the branches, but also on the items. So we can say. Let, let's go back to our original uh, notation of 0, 2, comma, dot, dot, dot. And include a rule that says, well, from all of these columns, I only want to select the first and the third and the fifth points. right? So I can actually say, well, please also limit yourself 0 to 2 to dot, dot, dot. Oh, sorry. For the item. Which means that only points selected are 
hide these a little bit, they're a bit big, are those square points. Get the sort of, we, we always skip a point in every direction. I even skip the points in the middle here. Due to the nature of the trees, this pattern will work uh, on trees which have empty things in them. This grid here creates a full grid, but I can actually create a, a grid which, ha which has missing bits in it. For example, so if I delete this, I can create a surface grid, which uh, is a bit more dense, 20 by 20. And let's, uh, let's hide this one. So my points are, points are here. And here you can see that, that it goes from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then there's a bunch of missing points. But it, it, it doesn't continue at 5. It, it continues at 11. And this is the, the S divide component. Make sure that there are some nulls in the grid when this happens. So when I look at this, this tree, when, there is, when a point would be off the surface, it, it doesn't just omit the information, it actually inserts an empty grid point there. And this allows us to use this sort of pattern. Uh, to, okay, let's, let's simplify again. So we have just one number, and it goes from 0 to 20, so we can omit the first one. So even in here, it works fine because it knows that it's skipping items here and, and it knows how many it's skipping. So this, this thing will select correctly from this subset of a grid the, the points at, at alternating columns and alternating rows. Uh, there's a question, can you enter a different step for the range? Yes, you can. Uh, you, can, you can create a, a sequence which is as long as you want. It can be two numbers, or three, or 500 numbers. So if I go from 0 to 3 to 1, and then repeat. Let me remove this here, because it's, it's getting too complicated. I'm sorry, am I... Uh... Oh yeah, sorry. It's, it, you, it has to be four, not one. You, you, you can't use uh, negative numbers or numbers that are smaller than the previous number. But one, three, and four, or zero to three and four, picks items at zero, then three, four, and then it repeats a pattern, three, four, three, four, at the end of, it, of itself. So you can make the, the, these sequences as long as they're always made from increasing numbers. There's a question about if. Uh, well, it's already if. Everything here is if. If this is true, then select it. Uh, and you can, you can control that, that if logic with using the or, the and, and the inversion logic. So you can say, well, this one, or, uh, or seven, or whatever. Maybe that's already part of the, of the list. Or one, let's say. So now we have this entire pattern and also the, the one, this, this, this column, will be included for this particular repeat. Or you can say anything except zero. Uh, let's accept zero. Which, huh, which doesn't work. It has to be and, not zero, I think. But th th as I said, this gets pretty complicated pretty quick, and I always have to try a few things before I actually get what I want. Yes. So this, this button here selects everything in this sequence unless it violates this, this index. So everything in here except for zero. There's one more thing about sequences which I can tell you. Uh, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0. You can also provide an, a, a last number. You can say, well, this, this sequence has to terminate at 10. So it, it, it repeats this until it hits 10, and then it, then it stops working. So you, you can encode both finite 
and infinite sequences using this notation. Uh, there's a question, can you use multiple AND operations? Uh, yes, but you cannot put them inside brackets. So it, it, it's, it's strictly from left to right. This is something which we may add later. It, it was too hard to code up in one day. So you can have this and something else and something else or not something else. There, there is no, no limit to how many as long as, the, as they're not nested in, inside of each other. And the last question here, which I think I'll answer is, is it possible to select the last number of a list? At present, not. But I'm planning to support negative notation that counts backwards from the end of the list. But that doesn't work yet. So eventually, hopefully, negative numbers will select. So if, if, you, if you go from, from this, uh, if you say, well, please select any tree at all, and then only select the items at the last two items from this list, this notation hopefully will work at some point. But it doesn't work yet. In fact, it'll complain now, saying that uh, you're using negative numbers, which is, which is naughty. Oh, that was intense. <laughs> <laughs>